You look at your show that goes on at 10 o'clock in the evening. You just take a look at that show. That is a constant hit. The panel is almost always exclusive anti-Trump. The good news is he doesn't have good ratings. But the panel is almost exclusive anti-Trump. And the hatred and venom coming from his mouth. The hatred coming from other people on your network. That was roughly my expression during the more than hour-long news conference that President Trump had. Much of, half of it must have been devoted to bashing and attacking and ridiculing the press. The most sustained attack on the media by a president of the United States ever. And it was riveting television. And the country, you could just imagine the divide. People who were fans of President Trump must have been on their feet cheering. Yes, go stick it to that fake news. And the people who are detractors or skeptics of this president must have said, wow, he is really angry. And this is, he's ranting and raving. And the president himself in a light moment said, that's what tomorrow's headlines will say. Trump was ranting and raving. Now, at times I thought this was effective, uh, particularly when the president talked about illegal leaks, because there have been some extraordinary leaks feeding some of these stories. And there has been a relentlessly negative tone to some of the coverage, and you could just see the frustration as the president spoke at length and went at some of the reporters, the frustration it must have been building up during the transition and during uh, the first few weeks of his presidency, uh, now that he was finally holding a solo news conference. There were times when he was off or went over the top. For example, he criticized a Wall Street Journal uh, piece yesterday, uh, alleging that some spies were withholding sensitive inf intelligence from him. He has every right to criticize the piece. He says, but they never called me. Well, you can't just pick up the phone and call the Oval Office. And the fourth paragraph of the story did have a quote, a denial from a White House official. He said a New York Times story, uh, which had a huge impact, about uh, contacts with Russia by some of his campaign aides and other associates, he said that had been discredited. Well, that remains to be seen, and there is an FBI investigation in that realm. Um, and boy, he did seem to enjoy going at CNN's Jim Acosta and, and ripping it to CNN. I don't know how much it helps him to go after Don Lemon. He didn't use his name when he talked about CNN's 10 p.m. show and how anti-Trump it is. I mean, even if that is true, and there, I've certainly heard a lot of anti-Trump voices on that program, um, it suggests that the president is, is really passionate about each and every program and that he watches very intently. Now, it's not that the president hasn't um, taken on fake news before, and clearly this has become not just a kind of a sidebar or a sideshow, but a central feature of his White House and of his presidency that he feels like he is in a war, he's used that word, he is in a war with the media, that he has to discredit the media, that he has to fight back in order to punch through, in order to knock down um, many of the stories and what he would call the false narratives that the press is engaged in when it comes to um, his tenure in office. At the same time, he talked about uniting the country, and I think that is harder to do when you're constantly in a state of war with the media. And look, he has every right to go at the press hard. Uh, I've never seen such relentlessly, relentlessly negative coverage against any president or indeed any political leader. At the same time, um, all of the chatter and the headlines, I mean, CNN's Jake Tapper talked about him being unhinged. And how would you feel if your boss had given a speech like that or a member of your family? Uh, so the more that he is at war with the press, the more it will please his base, but it tends to sort of steal the spotlight from him talking about uh, jobs and the economy and taxes and health care and immigration. Uh, so, uh, you know, it seems to me that the White House was very, very happy with this performance. It was Trump unplugged. It was Trump saying all the things that he sometimes says in private. And then the word that really jumped out at me, he's used this with me during the campaign, a couple of interviews, but now he's using it as president. He's, he said hatred. He thinks that some uh, in the media have hatred for him. I don't know that it's that personal. It probably is in at least a few cases. But if the president believes that many in the media hate him, and he did say that some of the media are honest and fair, and I'm glad he made that distinction, um, then it really is a war. And it's a war that's going to go on for some time. I don't know that we'll ever see another news conference quite like that.